first we must sippy sippy. All right, you guys, today we are testing out a brand new makeup product. If you guys saw my tea vlog a week or so ago where I was digging through an old makeup bag and I finally had told you guys that unfortunately, I just have not been feeling as passionate about makeup lately. And not to paraphrase that entire video, but I was just saying like, I feel like that era of a lot of imaginative packaging, exclusive collections, like we're just not seeing some of the stuff that used to make me super excited about collecting makeup, trying new makeup. And honestly, you guys, I felt really guilty about saying that. I know that that may sound silly, but I really have been feeling guilty about not doing my makeup as much, about not being as excited for new makeup launches. I think another thing that has kind of made me a little less passionate about makeup is a lot of my go-to products over the last year or so have been discontinued. I feel like I need to just dive back in because I do still really theoretically love makeup. And so I feel like I need to find new favorites to replace the discontinued favorites and I just I need to check out the new stuff out there like irregardless of if the packaging and stuff really wows me like I do just want to get back into it I feel like I'm describing this really stupidly it's not like I'm trying to force myself to still love makeup I do still love makeup but I just want to get excited about it again you know what I mean so today you guys we're gonna be doing a first impression of a new Luminesce airbrush foundation. This is called the Airbrush Spray Foundation. I got this on Amazon because my favorite foundation got discontinued. It was the Dior Air Flash. You guys, I am on my last couple of cans of this stuff. It's so amazing. I do not know why they discontinued it. You can still get it if you live in Canada. They do still seem to sell it regularly on the Canadian Sephora site. If you're here in the States, no such luck. Maybe in Europe, I don't know, you guys would have to let me know. But this has been my holy grail combo for years now. I do still have some left because every time there was the Sephora VIB sale, I was like stocking up on these because I knew like it was just my favorite foundation, like why not? So yeah, I loved all three of these products. This was just the Radiance Mist. I got this one I think by mistake. It's a Radiance Mist as well, but it does have a little bit of a tint to it. And then this was the foundation and I I mean it just literally gives you like flawless skin. I started thinking the other day like what has been my love with foundations of the past and I like it's almost like I had a brain fart or something because hello I feel like Luminesce is like the OG of airbrush makeup airbrush foundation. And so I was like, why not just, you know, go back to basics. So I did get the shade Fair and I ordered this when I was doing my little like self tanner. So I honestly don't know if this is gonna match or not. It looks very, very similar. This Luminous is two ounces. The Dior Air Flash was 2.3 fluid ounces. So even though this looks like a slightly smaller can to me, but this is quite a bit cheaper, I believe. I don't remember how much Dior Air Flash was on Sephora Canada. It's $78. I wanna say it was around $65 and I'm pretty sure this was like $39. I'm just gonna do a swatch right now. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna like put this on tonight or tomorrow because you guys it is like two in the morning and I was like you know what let's just sit down and do a foundation review but it might make sense for me to spray it on tomorrow when I'm gonna be like out and about and do like a real life practical test. Oh it's all <gasps> Ooh, it's like completely safety sealed as well. You guys know how you guys know how I love a good safety seal to break seal press down. That's what it says here. I'm just going to spray it. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, that might be a good match. It might still be a little bit on the pale side, honestly. Okay. 
<laughs> you guys, coverage, coverage. I just inhaled a little bit. I was honestly trying to pick a shade that I thought would work well if I was applying my self tanner or not. This may be a little on the brightening side, a little bit on the lighter side. This was not the lightest shade available. I'm pretty sure that this is shade like 20 and I'm pretty sure there was like a shade 10. Let me pick this back up tomorrow. I feel like it would make more sense. I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll actually, we'll actually test this out then. What is this video? See, I forgot even how to film makeup review videos. It's been so long. Hold on to your tea, your coffee, your water. What are you drinking right now? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, you guys, it is finally time to test this foundation. It's actually been many days since I filmed the intro, but hey, I'm also like developing my mousse tan right now. So I feel like this will be a better opportunity to see will this shade match me like right now when it is summertime time. And I just like to have like a more radiant glowing kind of look. So I did go ahead and do underpainting and eyeshadow. And this is the point of time in my makeup routine when I would start applying foundation. And it's so funny because thinking back, I used to always do foundation first. I mean, mine is like concealer, primer, whatever and then eyeshadow. But you guys, after like decades of eyeshadow fallout and then having to go back and like retouch up my foundation, I always do eyeshadow first and then foundation like more towards the end of my makeup routine. I would be really curious to know in what order y'all do your makeup. How I always applied the Dior Air Flash was to spray the foundation on a slightly damp beauty blender and then blend it out that way. And and I was just thinking like how funny and weird that is because anytime I had like the regular luminous airbrush makeup system where you put the little drops of makeup in the little airbrush thing, I would always just spray it on my face and then sometimes blend it out. So it's so funny that I treat another airbrush product totally differently. Ever since I discovered the world of beauty blenders, I have just never looked back. I don't know, I feel like I cannot apply makeup in any other way than with a beauty blender. I don't know, like even when I test out certain products that I feel like ultimately, like I put on with a brush first, I always still blend it out with a beauty blender. I love my beauty blenders. So yeah, let's, oh, look at that. That, I feel like that is a much more robust spray <laughs> right in the mouth than the Dior Air. Oh my God. You guys, this, a robust product. How many times am I gonna say robust? I feel like that's a way you would describe like a rotisserie chicken and <laughs> not necessarily your foundation. Oh my God. You guys, I guess I don't need that much. It's blending out quite nicely. So far I love, do I love the look of it? I do. Okay, I'm like unblended here, you guys. Like when I underpaint, I leave it kind of messy until I do like the full like makeup completion blend kind of thing. It smells a little bit, does it smell a little bit like a Band-Aid? I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys know what Band-Aids smell like? You know what I mean? I feel like I'm also like maybe quite far from the camera. I'm also gonna try and insert some iPhone clips in here. When I say try, it should not be that hard to do. I'm gonna try and remember to insert some iPhone clips in here because this camera, this lighting, it is very face friendly. I feel like it definitely gives me a much more flawless look than I do in real life. But hey, that's just like the camera, you know? All right, let's... I feel like I'm using too much of this, but, oh. So I feel like this is, you know, I should just maybe hurry up and finish and like then give my thoughts. Oh my gosh, look at that though. Yeah, it's so weird. Like when you first spray it, it does not smell like Band-Aids. And when you first start applying it, it does not smell like Band-Aids. Then when I'm halfway through the application, it smells a little bit like Band-Aids. But then when I'm done blending it out, Band-Aids smell gone. <laughs> Welcome to Bunny's Makeup Reviews. Very robust. Can you guys tell the difference? Ooh, ah. One more. Woo. I'm almost done and then I can talk. 
I feel like I cannot talk and tap at the same time. I did get some up close shots on this camera right when the foundation is fresh. At this point, I would definitely give it two thumbs up. It feels a little bit heavier than the Dior Air Flash did, which I would say right off immediately is the only downside. That's one of the things I loved about the Dior Air Flash is I felt like it was really giving me that flawless finish, but it matted down or dried down almost immediately. So it really made me feel like I was not wearing any foundation at all. I feel like that's why I've always loved like BB creams, CC creams, powder foundations. Obviously, I feel like maybe I did apply a little bit too much. So I feel like there's a, like a little bit of a learning curve there where if I just sprayed a little bit less, it would maybe not feel this way as much. The only other thing I will say is right now with it feeling a little bit more moist, let's say, I feel like foundation for me that are a little on the more full coverage, heavier side, they tend to crease a little bit more, especially since I do love making all the wild and wacky faces. So I feel like particularly like right here in my eyebrows and like around the edges of my mouth, those are the first places to go. The rest of my makeup usually stays in place pretty well. So right now, as creamy as this feels, that's kind of my main concern. The other thing is usually with the Dior Air Flash, I had actually been able to stop wearing setting powder. Like I really stopped baking and I stopped having to wear any kind of powder basically, except for I do like to add like a powder contour, etc, etc. But as for like basic setting powder, I really didn't need to use that anymore. This I feel like I do need to set with a little bit of powder, probably just to help it stay in place a little bit better. That's like not that big of a deal to me. I mean, right now at this point, I feel like these two products are comparable enough that I don't feel like as much despair for Dior Air Flash being discontinued. But you guys, I'm kind of wanting to try the Temp 2 airbrush foundation next. So maybe we'll compare that one to this one. What I'm going to do now, though, is finish the rest of my makeup and everything and like do my hair so I can check back in with you guys like in another 30 minutes or so. I feel like it looks good. Also, you guys, what I'm about to say is maybe going to sound a little weird, but I am 100% more focused on what my makeup looks like, like on camera and everything versus like in real life. Does anybody else feel like that these days? Like, I feel like this looks excellent with like this light like filter on. If I was like filming snaps or whatever with a little bit of a filter on, I feel like I'm more used to seeing myself like that than like in real life with a mirror. Another spontaneous update with gum in my mouth. I am incredibly impressed by this foundation. I wanted to go ahead and check in now that I have my makeup completely done, but not my hair yet. You guys, I was just plugging in an old hair straightener. I was just gonna randomly use that one tonight, not this sparkly one, thank goodness. And I started smelling like a burning smell. Yeah, I like don't know why my old one started. Like it smelled like it was cooking and it was not cooking something delicious. So um, I wanted to go ahead now that I have to like plug in a whole new one and it's been more time than I thought it would be. But oh my God, you guys, I feel like is this gonna be my new favorite foundation? So my largest complaint that I thought was gonna happen was that I was gonna have to set it with powder, that it was gonna give me like a much more, I hate to say like cakey look, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I like my makeup now to look, I do still love to do full glam, but I don't like to be as matte. I feel like as I used to, I do go for like a little bit more, like I don't know if we would describe it as like satin finish or probably not quite dewy. I don't know you guys. Anyway, as I was going in doing my eyeliner, my eyebrows, like the other steps that I would do anyway before I would set my foundation with powder, this foundation like magically, I feel like settled into my skin and transformed into what I would describe as the perfect finish for me. Already just based on its performance right now, it probably has been like 45 minutes to an hour since I've seen you guys last. 
and I mean based on this already I feel like I don't see exceptionally harsh lines I feel like everything still looks you know it still looks pretty glam what do we think I feel like I love it already am I smelling that same cooking smell that's concerning so I plan on at least doing one final check-in when it's probably gonna take me an undetermined amount of time to do my hair and then I will I will check in with you guys again but so far so good I'm loving it hopefully I won't have gum in my mouth during the next check-in but we'll see okay Bye. after many many hours hair and makeup finally done I feel like I did such a quick little like all I basically did was straighten my hair and add my little magical hairline powder just because you guys like I have these like weird baby hairs here there is hair here but for some reason if I do not have this like hair powder in my hair they look invisible what's going on there I don't know but oh my gosh you guys this whole makeup of adventure today has taken me so long like I have not gotten to film another video yet but I've been distracted so many times that uh this makeup has already been on for like what I don't even know like three and a half hours or something I did remember to film a clip on the iPhone front facing camera I feel like that camera has no mercy if there is a flaw there you will see it I feel like that would give you guys a good impression of what I look like IRL right now and you definitely can see a little bit of separation I feel like in those exact areas of concern that I was telling you guys about where I like make a lot of facial expressions very few foundations literally if any can survive just hours of me talking and making faces so I would have to say I feel like this foundation I think it's gonna be my current replacement for Dior Air Flash. Unless I end up liking, I really do wanna try the Tim 2 and the Luminous, like the real airbrush system. I would love to give those two a try, but this honestly, I would say is amazing. If you too loved Dior Air Flash and now it is gone, I feel like you would be happy like replacing that foundation with this one. I feel like it's also like a better deal if you don't want to invest in like the whole airbrush machine, yada yada. I feel like this is once again, like a great substitute for that. I will just say I'm not 100% sure this shade is like the best for me. I'm not sure if it's because like my tan is still forming. So it's not like 100% like usually I sleep with my self tanner on overnight and then wash it off the next day, yada yada. However, I don't know if I overdid it on like the under baking and then like setting my contour or if the foundation is like maybe a little bit, I don't know, like maybe I should go one shade lighter. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and comments on that in the comments down below. And then maybe like the next time, like I definitely am already planning on repurchasing this. So I would love to know from you guys if y'all think I should repurchase this shade again or go one shade lighter. Let me know. I will have you guys linked down below to everything I use today, including this product with my little Amazon affiliate links if you guys want to check anything out. And I will also have you guys linked to these lashes. You guys, these have been my staple lashes for more than a year now. You get this many sets on Amazon for like $10. I feel like I talk about these lashes all the time, but they have been my favorites forever. So big, so dramatic. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited to keep going down this makeup journey now. I am not sure what my next product testing is going to be. So if you guys have something you'd like for me to test in the comments down below, let me know that too. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!